right, hope everybody's having a good uh, day today, Saturday, and I got a whole bunch of mail, and first off, I want to say I think I'm back with my uh, camera, so that is good, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, work the kinks out here. I got one postcard in here, it says, hi, so far we've traveled blank miles, have seen scenic attractions, all the, all the good stuff above, and it has been canceled by Newman Lake, uh, Washington, Newman, so there's that one. Then I got in a lot of postcards, I mean a ton. These are all postal cards, you know, some of them are used and some of them are not, but I think I paid less than three dollars for the whole lot. So that is really insane. We'll just go so, through some of the cool ones here, if I can find them right offhand. Uh, there was a few used ones here. Some of them date to like the early 1900s. I think this was dated 1905, so that's really pretty neat. Some of these um, were all fanned out like this so you could see the postage. And sadly, you can't use it. It's all screwed up and used up. So that has no use to me unless I cover up everything, which is really kind of crazy, but that's a lot of work. Uh, there were a couple comical ones here. Well, I say comical, if I can find them here. Lots of five cents, 10 cents. So they'll be all be used for my Washington project. Uh, where did those go? Well, of course, you know, when I want to show them, I can't find them. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's one for the uh, the Werner Gotthold Haug, Melrose, Pennsylvania. That's not one of the crazy ones there. And it's got, uh, please fill in the attached postal and mail at once. The 1915 Reunion uh, Committee. Sorry about that. And then here's, let's, what else do we have here? Here's the Princeton Tiger. Here is the Sudbury Laboratory of Sudbury, Massachusetts. So all kinds of interesting stuff there. Uh, the next thing is I went to the store a few days ago, actually yesterday, and picked up some Star Wars, I think Solo, and I also picked up uh, some, I can't remember, Rogue One, and Rogue One was $1.50, so it was 50 or 50 cents off, and out of Solo, I got one numbered card here, this is L337, uh, and... It is numbered 66 out of 99. So that was really pretty neat to grab that one. These things are listing between five and eight dollars a piece on the computer, so I'll take that when I get it out of a two dollar pack. So that's really pretty good. And speaking of cards here, I got a bunch to show off. So, um, oh yes, before we get to the cards, I got an RTS from uh, Robert Frosch, NASA guy. So I don't know, I'm not sure if that was his in Falmouth, Ma Falmouth Massachusetts. Not sure if that was his current address or, I mean, what happened there, so no idea, unable to find. Too bad. Okay, so I got from Two Bros Sports Cards again. We got some more foil cards for my foil set. We have Max Scherzer right there. Apologize for the green light there. That is on my camera and I can't do anything about that. Mitch Garver. So if you see a green dot in a bad spot, well then that's too bad. Uh, we've got uh, Patris, uh, Patrick Corbin. Yep, looks like I got a target on him. That's too bad. Eduardo Escobar. I might have to put a little um, piece of tape over that. Gregory Polanco. So I'm just over 50 cards for the set here. I need another 150 or whatever it is. Um, there's a Marte. Joey Vado. That was, I think, a dollar for that one. That was a little bit more. That was a newly listed one, and I took that right away because there was only one. Austin Meadows. There were lots of duplicates of these. There's lots of Dan Vogelbach. And then we got uh, one of Caleb's favorites, uh, Tim Tebow for the Columbia Fireflies on this little disc here. So that was dirt cheap. That was like nothing. That's cool. And then there's a the back of it. And then we got Mike Trout base card because of course I did not pull that one. That was probably a dollar for that one. I had to get it because uh, just had to. Uh, we got a P. Lonzo sticker preview. We have Bo Bichette sticker preview. We have card number one Clark uh, for the mascot set. We have the last two stadium clubs, stadium cards of the Seattle Mariners. Annoying green dot. And the Tampa Bay Rays. Then we have Spring is Sprung, Ronald Acuna Jr. All Rise for that little subset, the Traditions. Pesky's Pole for Johnny Pesky. Pesky Green Light. Crown Vision for the Royals. Willie Mays Statue. I did not believe I had that one. So I finished up most of those little mini sets. The sticker preview, I think I need a couple more. 
Uh, the spring is sprung, I need about 20 more, and uh, the mascots, I need another 15 more or something. Uh, here's General Leia Organa and Vice Admiral Holdo. I got two of those, one's going off to somebody. Then we have um, Kdel Coconix. It was 50 cents or 55 cents, and that was the last one they had, so I grabbed it. When you see five or six cards have sold and there's one left, you might as well grab it. Uh, here is the broomstick hot dog from uh, uh, opening day a few uh, years ago, I think. I was hoping to find somebody to sign that to, but send that to to get autographed, but I don't know who. Let me know. We have a gold uh, 17 of Brandon Crawford because it was cheap. And we have a Johnny Coeto um, 17 uh, gold also because it was cheap. And last but not least of everything I've showed off today, I have a Graham Elliott Relic card. Looks a little off kilter for some reason. I don't know. Maybe just me. No, I, th I think it is uh, from Alan and Ginter. So a little chef relic there. Again, I think this was probably 75 cents or 80 cents. Like all the old days of COMC. So cool stuff there because it's got such a huge discount. I'm going to be working on some postcards now, and you'll see these in the future if they come back. And that's what I have for you, and thank you for watching.